2019, we visited Star GB a lot of times and we've been looking at the flexibility that the machines now offer. This is just another example of what these machines and this technology are capable of. Um, Alec, if we could just take a, a couple of minutes of your time again. Now, this particular application, this story actually relates to a customer of Star's, Axminster. Now, they uh, have recent, recently purchased this turnkey solution from you, of which Lindsay's been down to actually talk to the guys there about. But Alec, maybe from your perspective and Star's perspective, can we have a look at the application and talk about how you're actually doing it and the improvements uh, made as a result of this SV38R? For sure. This is the, um, the Chuck Jaw that we're manufacturing. Um, previously it was done in multiple operations across VMC um, machine tools and we've combined all those operations into one so the parts obviously coming off finished. Um, now when, when I look at this part I, I must admit it, it does remind me a lot of the, the story we spoke about earlier in the year at TNC down in Essex. We're talking about what you would look at here as a component that there'll be many machine shops up and down the country that will be having parts like this on their VMCs, doing one op, turning them over, going through all these various stages when they're just unnecessary. Talk us through the operations and how you can do it now, Alec, on this sliding head technology. Well, Axminster actually saw that video and they're, they're an existing customer for sure, so they, they know our technology. But I think, obviously, the, something clicked at Axminster when they saw the, 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 the previous videos that we've done on the SV38R and that sort of led them down to the path to sort of inquire with us about a turnkey solution for this part. Um, as you can see, the, the, we've used some very sort of specialist tools in the turret. Uh, we've got four customised tools going up to 75mm diameter um, to manufacture the, the scroll, um, the teeth on the actual jaw itself. So these jaws are manufactured in sets of four and the pitch of this scroll changes for every different jaw. Uh, which we cater for in the program with a, a couple of macro variables, etc. Um, each jaw is uh, engraved on the back with the jaw number and a little identification stamp there as well. Um, but so talk us through the operations. Well, yeah. Basically the operations are, we, we rough and finish this face using the, the turret. The tool, the, the customised fly cutters then come in to generate this scroll feature. We do a similar operation on, on this side where we'll, we rough and finish, do the cross holes, generate this scroll, then we balance mill, putting the keyways in with a rough and finish cutter for that. We then pick it up, do the radius on the back and do all the engraving on the back plan. So both front and, main, and, and back spindle obviously working uh, at the same time, which gives you, gets you a cycle yes. time reduction yeah. saving, but the capabilities of the machine, the fact that you've got this turret at the back that by the looks of it, you've got a lot of tools on there, and, and we're not we're not talking, as you said, small tool in here either, are we? We're talking about quite uh, quite well yeah, tools I mean, with there's a, there's good a, capability. There's a 75 mil fly cutter, there's a 65 mil fly cutter, um, and there's two other fairly large customised cutting tools in there as well. So the turret is fully loaded. Uh, obviously, we, we've still got the chance to put more tooling on there by doubling up on some of the other stations, but. Uh, and what, what bar stock is this coming out of? It's from 27 mil stock. So looking at this part, you could go quite a lot bigger, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, on, yeah. On We've done 40 mil in guybrush mode on, on this machine before, no problem. Um, the actual savings then, realistically here, Alec, are down to the handling of, of, of the part, aren't yeah. they, throughout the process. Between five and seven operations was how, how many ops this was taken, and now we've got this down to one. Uh, the advantages just speak for themselves, don't they? Well, it's, it's efficiency of setup. Obviously, the parts coming off in one hit, finished, fully deburred, etc., etc. So the time saving is going to be phenomenal for uh, our customer. Yeah. Do you think, looking at the UK industry, there is probably hundreds of companies out there that have got applications that they really don't realise could be run more efficiently through this type of machine now with this technology? I think you, that you're probably right. I think when you look at the, the types of components that we can do. You know, you know, you're only limited really by your imagination. You know, that we've got more and more axes to play with. We've got more and more capacity to 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 to, to manufacture these parts from. So, you know, it's uh, there's no limit really. I think it's about like Axe Minister did, setting you the challenge, set star the challenge, uh, show them your components if they're of a similar size or even bigger than this, and you're currently doing them on a milling machine, on a vertical machining centre, or even a horizontal. See if you can do them quicker and more efficiently on Star's sliding head lathes.